Hey, I'm Longest Solo Ever, and today we're going to talk about how to use a chromatic scale in Ableton Live when you're making music for Friday Night Funkin'. The first thing you're going to want to do, as always, if you're on this screen, the session view, you're going to want to switch over to arrangement view, which is where it's a lot easier to make music. This is more for live performance. Head over to the top right here. You should see these horizontal bars. We're going to click on those, or you can always just hit tab to switch between the screens easily. The first thing we're going to do, head over to the left side of your screen, go to instruments, and then find simpler. You can always just type up here in the search bar, find simpler as well. Either way works. Drag that from the side onto a MIDI track. You can also just drag it out here into space and it'll create a new MIDI track for you as well. We don't need these other ones, so I'm going to click on them and then shift click to select a bunch of them and hit delete, get rid of those. This tutorial is going to assume you already have a chromatic scale you want to use. If you don't have a chromatic scale yet and you want to make one from scratch, I made a video for you. Check it out in the description down below. We're going to be working in Ableton Live today. If you're using FL Studio, that's okay. I made a tutorial for you too. It's in the description down below. Now, I have the official chromatic scales from Kawhi Sprite himself. Uh, you can find these on his Twitter. There's a Google Drive download from there. We're going to pull in Mom's chromatic scale. You can see when I added simpler in here, it says drop sample here. Uh, if you don't see that, just be sure to click here. You may need to, um, to double click on the channel or something to bring this up if you don't see it. So where it says drop sample here, I'm going to go into uh, the folder. I have the samples and drop mom chromatic scale or whatever chromatic you're using into the file. And there we go. We can play this back now. If we, uh, if we just play a key on our MIDI keyboard, we're going to hear what this sounds like. And you can hear this is just a bunch of notes in a row, one at a time. But we want each of those notes to be assigned to a different key on the keyboard, right? Or in our uh, when we're writing notes in the piano roll, either way. And to do that, we need to slice this into a bunch of different notes. Uh, fortunately, we have Simpler, which has a slice mode. Find this classic button on the left. We're going to go down to slice instead. Take it out of classic mode, go into slice mode. And you can see it already chops up a bunch of little pieces, but that's not quite right. There's a bunch of notes over here it's ignoring. So first thing we want to do, go down to sensitivity and drag this down, click and drag, or you can uh, click on it and use arrow keys either way, and just kind of nudge until, yeah, that's exactly what we want to see. Check this out. You can see each note, each little blob has its own line associated with it, and they're all evenly spaced, which is how most chromatic scales are going to be made. Um, if they were made correctly, they will be like perfectly evenly spaced, and that's the best way to approach it. And if you have a keyboard in front of you, or if you go up to options and then computer MIDI keyboard, make sure that button's checked. You can hear. We can hear notes playing. That's great. Uh, there's one thing we need to fix, and that's that this is set to trigger mode instead of gate. What that means is anytime I press a note, it'll keep playing no matter what. Uh, but that's not great for like. Uh, not, not great for notes like that. So we're going to change it from trigger to gate mode. And now, now it plays like a real instrument. And there we go. We, we have, we have notes we can play. That's great. There's one last thing we need to do. And that's to make sure that we are tuned properly to the right notes. Ableton may not realize uh, which notes the original chromatic scale started on. Uh, and so to make sure this fits with the rest of your song and make sure that, you know, even if you're programming the right notes, they're not coming out as the wrong notes, we need to tune this uh, and properly make sure it's set to the correct notes. So what we're going to do, head up to sounds. You can grab literally anything. I would just grab a grand piano, I would say, or like an E piano or something, anything simple, drag it out into its own space here. And you can click the little music note record button. And we're going to play a C uh, now on a piano keyboard. Um, if you have a piano, you probably know where C is. Uh, but if you don't, uh, and you're on your computer keyboard, you can turn computer MIDI keyboard on here. And then go to your mom channel here and make sure there's the same note. Uh, if you don't have your ear developed to the point where you can hear whether a note is different or not yet. Um, uh, although here's what it would sound like if they were wrong. Here's, here's the wrong note played. Something you can do to help figure this out for you is go to audio effects, utilities, tuner, 
and drag that onto your mom channel. Now this is gonna tell you what note is being played. Check this out, this is crazy. That's a C sharp. That's an F. That's a G, it's super cool, right? So what you could do if by chance this was set to the wrong notes, we can kind of correct for that with a MIDI effect called pitch. So you go over to MIDI effects, grab pitch, and then drag it right before your mom chromatic scale. So it's affecting that. Now, let's say, uh, I, I'm gonna mess with this for the sake of demonstrating. Let's say it was set to that. Uh, so now our notes are different than our piano. Totally different notes, right? I'm playing a C here. But she's singing an E flat. Now, you don't have to know music theory. You can just uh, use the alphabet, you know. Um, music notes go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then repeat. So if you find yourself uh, on the wrong note, just try to find the closest letter in that alphabet and head in that direction. We're going to correct down because we're at E flat. That means we're too far along in the musical alphabet, right? We need to get back to C, working backwards. Uh, so we're just going to... Go to our pitch knob here, set it to negative one. Let's see if that's better. That's closer, we're at D. We're gonna go one more. That's closer, we're at C sharp. That's not quite the same note though. You can see the little pound sign there, the hashtag. That means it's a different note than C. We're gonna go one more. Now we're at C. And that's it, we got it. So that is how to add a chromatic scale into Ableton Live and then how to tune it properly so it's playing the right notes when you're playing a song with it. If you like this video and want more Friday Night Funkin' modding tutorials like this, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, I will get back to you there. Thank you so much for watching and happy modding.